Tottenham and South Korean star Hoon-Min Son has won yet another award. Could Eric Lamella have played his last game at the club? A former star has stated that Harry Kane and Hoon-Min Son used to be the most selfish footballers to play alongside. Spurs have given a fine to three Tottenham Hotspur players. A former defender has stated the only way that Harry Kane will win a title is by signing for Real Madrid. And Tottenham are again linked to a West Ham defender. Hello and welcome back to another video. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. In today's video, I'll be going through all of the top news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. Also, a January transfer update as well. And if you don't subscribe to the channel already, please do hit that subscribe button. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news. As well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel, you can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Let's start the video with some great news. Now, Hun Min Son has won yet another award. He is just simply unbelievable. Of course, against Leeds United at the weekend, he scored his 100th goal for the club, but he has won yet another award. Tottenham Hotspur announced a couple of hours ago, Hun Min Son has won the Best Footballer in Asia Award for the fourth year in a row. Former Premier League striker Noel Whelan has been talking to the Football Insider all about Spurs star Eric Lamella. And Noel Whelan believes that Eric Lamella may have already played his last game for the club. Eric Lamella, who of course was pictured at a party with teammates Giovanni Lo Celso and Sergio Reglon over the Christmas period. Well, Noel Whelan has said this is one thing that has really gone against Eric Lamella. The club cannot trust him. Those players have broken the trust with the management and the hierarchy. Whelan then said it's not as even if he's playing regularly and that's maybe why he thought he could do whatever he wanted. Maybe he's not fussed anymore. I do not think there's going to be another contract because he's getting to the back end of his career anyway. He will have something to offer another club, but I definitely do not think he is going to be at Tottenham. Not after this. If anything, he has given the club the opportunity to push him out in the January transfer window. A report was published earlier today by the Daily Mail and it states that Tottenham Hotspur have fined Sergio Reguilon, Eric Lamella and Giovanni Lo Celso for breaching COVID restrictions but aren't suspending them after they broke Tier 4 rules West Ham's Manuel Lanzini by spending Christmas together. According to The Athletic, Tottenham's hierarchy have reminded the three players of their responsibilities but there is no suspension for the trio who were pictured in a large group photo alongside West Ham's Manuel Lanzini while celebrating Christmas. A statement was released by Southend United Football Club earlier today and it states Southend United can confirm Kostaya Sterling has returned to parent club Tottenham Hotspur upon the expiry of his loan deal at Roots Hall. Sterling joined Blues in October from the Premier League club and made 12 appearances scoring one goal. The club would like to thank Kostaya for his contributions and efforts and wish him every success for the future. A report out earlier today from the Daily Mirror and they have stated that the Premier League have announced alarming rise in COVID-19 cases with 40 new positive tests. Three Premier League games have been postponed so far to the new outbreak of COVID-19 and a worrying surge in cases has now been confirmed. 40 positive coronavirus cases were discovered over two rounds of Premier League testing in late December and early January. The league announced its latest figures on Tuesday afternoon, which showed that of 1,311 players and club staff tested between December the 28th and the 31st, 28 came back positive for COVID-19. In tests on 984 players and staff carried out between the 1st of January and the 3rd of January, there were a further 12 positives, the league said. 
Former Spurs and England goalkeeper Paul Robinson has been talking about Spurs right back Matt Doherty, who of course was sent off in the dying seconds against Leeds in the Premier League game at the weekend. Uh, talking about the sending off, Robinson said it was a silly one for me in all honesty. At that time in the game, with your team being 3-0 up, it's a difficult one to take. He's got to be more switched on going into the dying minutes of the game, especially given that they had a three-goal lead. You cannot just make tackles like that uh, when you've already been booked. It's a silly one and one he will regret. In the last couple of months, certainly there has been so many media reports out stating that Tottenham are interested in re-signing Christian Eriksen. Of course, the midfielder who left us for Inter Milan. Could he re-sign for Spurs? Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you had the chance or the choice to re-sign Christian Eriksen, would you do it? Now, a report out today from Birmingham Live, and they are stating that Aston Villa are plotting a sensational move for the Danish star. Lots of other media outlets also reporting on Christian Eriksen as well. And some are stating that Wolverhampton Wanderers are highly interested in the uh, Denmark midfielder as well as Dutch side Ajax. A short statement was released by the Tottenham Hotspur women earlier today. It reads the kickoff time for our Barclays FA Women's Super League fixture at home to Everton on Sunday the 24th of January has now changed. Kickoff at the Hive is scheduled for 2.30pm. While the game is to be played behind closed doors, fans can follow the match live on the FA player. Former Tottenham star, now Crystal Palace player Andros Townsend has been talking on TalkSport all about Tottenham duo Harry Kane and Hunmin Son, who of course have both been on fire so far this season. He said they both used to be so selfish, probably two of the most selfish footballers I've ever played with. But this season with Harry Kane, I know he's got one eye on the golden boot and top assister as well. It's worked perfectly because Hunmin Son always makes unselfish runs in behind. Now you've got Harry who's not being selfish, who's dropping deep, getting the ball and wanting to feed the ball in behind for Son. At the moment, they are complementing each other perfectly. Former Tottenham defender Jonathan Woodgate has said that Harry Kane may have to leave Tottenham to win a trophy. He said if Real Madrid come in for you, especially Harry Kane, he has to go. If he wants to win trophies and get onto that next pedestal of Messi, Ronaldo and that type of player, he has to go. Woodgate then went on to say, I don't see him winning the league at Spurs, not this season and not in the next few seasons. They've got too much building to do to get up there with the likes of Liverpool and Manchester City. For me, if he wants to go and win the European Cup, then he has got a chance of winning it at Real Madrid. A report was published earlier today on the Give Me Sport website and it states that Tottenham Hotspur could table a bid for West Ham defender Issa Diop this month. The Frenchman has become one of the casualties of the uh, Irons' solid campaign under David Moyes so far this season, making just three starts in the Premier League. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to this channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next video. Stay safe and well. Come on, you Spurs.